Welcome to day seven of Echo's 21 days of prayer and fasting. My name is Sarah and I am so thankful to have made it through this first week as a community, as an individual, and with you. We are so excited to see what God is going to do in you as an individual, just as much as we are excited to see what he's going to do in us corporately. Today, day seven, is a day that we are setting aside time and space to prayerfully reflect on what God has already done, what he's going to do, maybe on some tensions that we're feeling as maybe we've given up some time or some food or some habits to fast in a new way in this season. And we are just examining what it's like to add in this discipline into our lives. For me, reflection is really, really fun. I love to think about what I'm thinking about. I tend to actually overthink as a practice, but sometimes inviting God into my reflection can feel a little bit scary for me. I tend to be a perfectionist, which means that I'm incredibly hard on myself, especially when I take time to reflect. Inviting God in, a perfect God, into my reflection can make me a little nervous that I'm going to have to only work on more when I'm already working on so much all the time. But I find when I press through my own personal barriers of inviting God in, He is more gracious and brings me more freedom than I could do on my own. Perhaps perfectionism is something for you. Maybe it's awkward actually to set aside time and, and really reflect with prayer. Maybe that's new for you. Maybe you have your own set of barriers that is difficult for you to press through when, when thinking of sitting, asking questions of God and just listening and paying attention. But I want to challenge us today to press through, to trust that God wants to meet with us Trust that God has something to say and trust that as we reflect and invite God in, that he can speak to us in a way that maybe we couldn't find answers for ourselves. I pray that as you continue, as you press through whatever barriers you're finding, whatever tensions that you notice, that you see God show up in a really new and fruitful way in your life. We also wanna make sure that you feel really supported in all of this. The newness and the anticipation might have worn off now after week one, but we are still here doing this as a community. A great way to stay connected is to subscribe to these videos. We're gonna have new ones every day. Also, you can comment, you can like, you can interact. There are people that are waiting to encourage you just as much as they're waiting to be encouraged by you. We are so thankful to be doing this together. Great job for making it a week. I cannot wait to hear all the stories of what God does in the next two weeks. Well, I hope today's devotion was encouraging to you and we'd love to continue the conversation with you in this. So leave comments below so we can have dialogue with one another. We'd love to be of encouragement to you as well in your journey of faith. And that's a great place to be able to do so as we continue the conversation. You can also subscribe to the channel and that allows you to not miss anything that comes out moving forward, any of these devotions and all the great content that Echo is releasing week after week. We'll see you next time.